I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi award winning Speed Screed. I'm here today to talk about flow screed costs. Often we're, we're asked, you know, how much does the product cost? Can you give us a ballpark figure? Uh, it's not always easy to uh, yeah. just come up with a figure because there are a number of variable costs in there. But I do appreciate that sometimes you're going to need uh, an idea of what it's going to cost so if you can introduce it into your project if it's if it's correct for it. So first of all location and material costs are going to be a big factor. So location of your project in relation to where the ready mix plant uh, is based. So the materials that the ready mix producer buys in or supplies to themselves uh, are going to depend where they where they're coming from to what the cost is. So the particular sand that goes into this product is of a certain grading and a certain quality and not always available locally. So depending where it is, it, you know, it may have to travel 50, 60, 70 miles to get uh, to the plant. This is also uh, the same with the binder. So you have an anhydrite binder with this product and that's got to travel from generally two sources within the UK. Uh, two manufacturers make the product and so it's traveling from there. So it just depends in relation where the plant is to the, the transportation cost. So that's one of the, one of the biggest factors uh, in. The other thing that you may look at is the screed depth. So, of course, the thicker the screed, the more material that's, that's going to go in. And so the cost per square meter is going to go up. So if you're looking at a typical flow screed depth, then you're looking at around about, say, 50 mil if it was going over underfloor heating. If you suddenly decide that you're wanting 75 mil, you're putting in 50% more material. And so the costs are going to go up per square meter. So the other factor that uh, comes into play as well is how far you're away from the plant uh, yourself because of delivery charges. So uh, delivery charges, if you're one radial away or 25 radials away, are going to make a, a, a difference into the price. The, the product it has tremendous productivity, uh, meaning that you can lay 1,500, even 2,000 uh, square meters a day on the right project in the right area that's able to get supply uh, big open spaces. So you can see that if you're able to lay larger volumes in the day the cost per square meter will come down because you've got a number of fixed costs so fixed labor, fixed transportation costs to get the, the labor to site so there's those fixed costs if you're dividing it into a larger area it's going to reduce the, uh, the overall cost. So if you're looking at probably the difference between a 1500 meter project and a typical house, which is a 100 meters, uh, then you can see that the larger the area, the smaller the square meterage cost, the smaller the area, the larger the square meterage cost. So a typical price for something like say 1500 square meters is gonna be in the region of around about 10 pounds per square meter. For 100 square meters, you're going to be looking at uh, around 16 pounds per square meter. If you go smaller than that, so less than 100 square meters, so for, say 50 square meters, you will incur further uh, part load charges. So the delivery truck won't be up to capacity, so it won't be carrying a full load, and so there will be a what they term as a, a part load charge. So that's something uh, that will just increase the price per square meter. So I hope that's been useful. I hope that gives you a, an idea. If you need uh, more accurate prices, we're, we're only uh, you know too happy to help with that or any further questions. Thank you.